what if we don't like these random colors that QGIS is giving us? Well, let's talk about styling. One thing that we can do in our layers palette is double click and bring up uh, the layer properties. There will be a menu down the side. It will be set to whatever, uh, whichever one's been used last. Uh, we want to go to symbology to start with. And you'll see the colors there. And you can change those colors to any color you like. Um, but there are some, some options down here, some standard uh, color schemes. And if you go to QGIS 2, uh, there should be an option for water. And we can select that. Uh, and we could just apply that. But we also have an opacity slider here. And that one can be nice when you need to see through things. So set that for around 40, apply, and OK that. And we have our shape file, and we can see the boats through it as well. We can also, if we do double click on the path, we can also do things like uh, change the width of the, of the line so that we can see it better. Let's go to two pixels and pick a nice red, apply that, and then we have a big red path. And let's put the buildings on top, and we might decide that we can't see those buildings very well now, uh, so we might want to change those to blue, and we might want to make them a little bit bigger as well. There we go. What you can also do uh, in the layer properties is add the labels. You can see that on the labels tab, no labels is currently selected. If you use the drop down menu and go to single labels, uh, you will have an option to label with. And we want to label it with name. And we can apply that, and labels come up. But those are in black and that's kind of hard to read. So we, we want to change the color of those. And we can do that down here. If we double select white, apply that, and we have nice white labels. Now we want to save our project. And we do that by going to project and save as, and making sure we're in the same folder where we have all our materials. We're going to call this QOS Campus. And this is going to save as a QGZ project file. 